<clears throat> so, hello there, good people on YouTube. Gabi here again. Um, today with a short video on how I radiate my sides. A couple of people asked me in the comment section of my videos how I do that. Um, because I don't do it the normal way, or at least what I perceive as the normal way when I watch Ruthias do that. Um, most of those have their radius dishes covered in sandpaper. There are special dishes, sandpaper dishes for that, or discs actually for that. Um, and then they either take their sides and send them inside the radius dish, or they even have uh, a device that spins the radius dish so that they just have to gently press in on their sides to finally achieve the dome. That the dish offers. In my case I do have 15 uh, inch on the back and it's a 14 inch dome on the top always. But I transfer the lines onto the sides differently and I shape them differently. Uh, because I can't stand the sound of, of the sending it gives me whew, the creeps like somebody is scratching on a blackboard with their fingernails or anything like that. So what I do is different. Um, I start out by simply leveling the sides with the jig and put that in my radius dish. The next step is that I have to make sure that the two bottom parts um, of my blocks that I put in are the same height. So I measure that on one side, um, namely on the neck block and the other side has to be the same height because I want to use my a radius dish as a, a template for transferring the dome that the dish offers to the sides of my guitar. Um, so what I do is simply use some extra wood here that I put under my jig in order to achieve the same height that I have um, for my next side. So this is a bit too high now, I've got to reduce that, so I take out one of those, check again if it already has the right height and if it doesn't no, that doesn't look too bad but it needs to be raised a bit again um, then I add material so for instance where is it uh, where are you uh, it's gone it's gone it's gone there let's say this so you can have different strips of wood here and different sizes and heights that you can add. So that should do the job that I get basically to the same level, which is all right. So next thing that I do is I simply take a felt pen and attach it to a piece of wood um, that exactly makes for the height that I need so that I run when I run this thing across that I get um, the line exactly on the bottom or a bit proud of the bottom of my blocks here so I checked it with my pen here I see I'm a bit too low so I put a small ruler under here to see whether I've got the right height now that looks good now double check with the other side and that's basically it because what I do now is I simply run my pen along the line and what it does is it transfers the dome to the sides. Um, the clever people of you, of course you were all clever because you're watching my videos, <laughs> um, the clever people will realize that the doming process that I do this way only goes as far as to cover the sides, not the block areas. So I'm not doming particularly the neck block. The reason for that being that later when I put on the fretboard, um, then I have a flat surface here and not a domed surface. And um, that's the only reason. So this has worked well for me. And do that for both sides on uh, the different radius dishes. And then in the next step, once that's done, I simply take a planer and plane the sides according to the lines. I'll leave a bit of material there for fine tuning later, but that basically is it. So what you can see here, if you take a look at the side of a 
I can catch it nicely in the camera, is that you see my line runs from, from the edge of my neck block along in the doming pattern to the edge of my heel block. And that's, that's it. That's all I do. Uh, and this is how I get the radius on the sides. Uh, and it doesn't matter how big the, the sides are. I don't have to take any measurements before it because I determine via the height of the blocks how tall this is going to be. Um, which means for a dread, for a jumbo, for an OM, I have got different measurements here. And if I want to change anything about it, the simple thing that I do, I make the blocks different sizes and then I transfer the radius the same way. So this I can get a, let's say, a deeper body still having the radius um, that I need. And that's all. If you were to try it out, try it out and hopefully you're successful with that. See you around next time. Bye.